All right, y'all. I thought today we would start working on getting this area kind of cleaned up. Um, this part is kind of done and can start to get um, some finishing touches put on it. Um, but I just want to go and get this done as well. So then that way when I'm starting to add figs and stuff, I can just start on this end and just move all the way across. Because for the most part, except for I just got to get some lights down there on the end. Um, aside from that, the little uh, what I've called the kind of city district is uh, done um which is super cool got to add some details obviously um and some figs and you know all those types of things but as far as structurally um it's pretty much done i do have one thing to fix i still have a loose wire behind the wall i think in this area um that trains are catching so i do need to fix that but aside from that this is mostly done um so i want to get this area cleaned up maybe we'll work on just a couple of the fixing up a couple of these little um things back here because like this needs some foliage type stuff stuck on it um but i thought we would work on that today uh so we can get this kind of buttoned up um so we got some rock work to do some more foliage i made some more trees that i thought we could work in here um i gotta get steps made for down here to get down to here um i am missing the tops of this and i'm actually missing uh, one more of these uh one by one round bricks uh, but that's easy to add later, um, so I'm not too concerned about that. I just want to get the rest of this kind of buttoned up because I can just pop those on when I get them in. Um, so yeah, so let's get started on uh, figuring out kind of what I'm doing here with all of this. I think maybe we're going to start with steps because I'm thinking that might be a quick and easy fix. Okay, so I got steps in here. Um, I chose to go with like the look that I actually originally had here when I did the curved steps. I used these... Um, one by two with the rounded ends to kind of make a curved and gave it like a stone look um and so that's what i decided to do again here um i thought this looked nice and just kind of like doing a flat gray or doing masonry brick or anything like that um and i did a little bit wider of a step just to kind of cover the ground between <laughs> literally uh cover the ground between here and here um and so that's what i went with i don't know if i'm thrilled about the handrail kind of stepping down um, I might rethink that. I might maybe do a one by one tile and maybe a short with a cheese slope. Maybe that might look a little bit better, but I'm going to leave this for right now. Um, cause I'm short on some of those parts. Um, and maybe, you know, once I get more stuff in, I won't notice it as much. Um, again, sometimes it's really, it's really difficult when you're doing some detail things to realize that once you get all the other details in, um, it's not going to matter nearly as much as you think it is right in this moment. Um, so I'm going to leave that go for, for, leave that go for right now, um, and kind of move on. But, um, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like the double wide steps? Would you do the cheese slope thing? Um, let me know. Um, okay, cool. So we're going to start on, um, maybe this area next, just to kind of, uh, you know, work our way kind of up and around. Um, and so, yeah, so let me grab some more parts and we'll start working on that little area. Quick little mid-project update, and I'm realizing that I forgot to do before and after pictures. You know, someday I'm going to remember to uh, do them. Today is not that day. But anyways, um, so we got this kind of flushed out next to the jazz club. You can see a guy fishing and drinking a margarita. Or maybe, I don't know, drinking something. Um, just another got couple going behind the uh, jazz club to, you know, do whatever they want to do. Um, got lots of foliage and stuff. Um, I thought the nice little trail just kind of added a little bit of something to the ground cover there. Um, lots of foliage stuck in the rock work. Um, just another trail. You'll notice I had to add steps to the side because um, I realized that this is going to be the um, brick cross station eventually. So I needed steps on the side. So, uh, fix that, um, did the steps on this side. Um, I went with this again, same thing over here. Um, and then as we work up, I did a little bit of, um, a little bit of foliage there, a little bit there. Um, I laid what, like, like a fallen, like fallen tree across the creek or across the river at this point, I guess. Um, some more foliage, some more of these pine trees. These pine trees are super easy to make. Um, they're literally just the plant stems which I have like a thousand of, like literally I have like a thousand of them and I just stack them. 
Um, and then they go on different colored um, or different size um, of the poles. Uh, so this is a longer pole. That's like um, a uh, antenna piece, which I think are actually the most useful ones. Um, but I think to make tall ones like that, you need to have a little bit of a taller base. Um, and then I use some of the shorter bases to make shorter ones um, and all that. And then this started out as an accident or kind of a let's just try something. And then I really like the way this turned out. So I made this kind of like ivy going up and over this. I really hope that this clears. If not, I can take that off pretty easily. But um, I just I just I just thought this was really cool to kind of cover over kind of this whole just kind of bland gray looking thing. Right. Like it adds a lot of color and just kind of it also breaks up the kind of like the the blockiness of it. Right. Um, and so I'm not going to come too much farther over this way. I'm going to finish these out probably maybe a couple more flowers, um, finish this off a little bit more. Um, but I'm not going to come over too far this way because I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. I need to look at brick cross again and see what the side of the station look like. So it looks like, and I can go ahead and build over to it. Um, and then obviously I got to do this back area now, which is going to kind of suck because, I don't really want to pull this all back out now, especially because it's all wired with all the lights and stuff. Um, so I guess I'm going to kind of just lean across, which is going to not feel great on my back. But, um, you know, is what it is. So we're moving along. Um, you know, I'm going to add a couple more here and then start working back here. So uh, we'll check back in a little bit here. Before I add foliage, I thought I would show you kind of um, what I do on the bottom side. So I use a bunch of these wedge plates to just kind of make a little bit of contour, kind of break up some of the squareness of all of it. Um, you know, there's not a whole lot of pattern to it or anything. Um, just to kind of break it up a little bit, you know, um, and make it look less like just straight flat or a square rectangle. You know, I think just adding just this little bit really kind of breaks this up and also breaks up the fact that um, this little area here is two plates higher than this. Um, just giving that little bit of line or something, um, you know, it's much less obvious that, uh, that was a design, I'm going to call it an issue, even though it wasn't really an issue per se. Um, but it was just something that happened when I was just making it, um, cause I needed to span the 16, 16 stud gap. Um, so I just used a bunch of one by brick and, uh, created that little hump. So that kind of disguised that. And now when I start to add foliage and stuff over it, you're going to not even notice any of that. Um, but that nice little texture underneath kind of helps make everything. You can see I kind of did that down here as well and over here and, and in here as well. Um, up here a little bit less just because I decided to go kind of heavy on the foliage. Um, but you can see there's a little bit of rock outcroppings in there with, um, with slopes, which is what I'm going to do next up here. Okay. So I got the uh, top kind of finished up here. I really wish I had some of the, um, so I think these are six by four um, limbs. And I wish I had some of the four by three, the smaller versions uh, in dark in dark green. Cause I would like to have a smaller version in there. Just kind of close that up a little bit. And I would like to have a couple of the smaller ones just to kind of fill in a little bit maybe, or swap out probably is actually the better word. I like to swap out some of this. So it's a little bit more finer as it goes across. Um, so maybe if I get those in eventually, I will change that out. Um, I did this little, 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 little chunk of olive over to brown, almost like the like, kind of like end of that's dying a little bit. Uh, just a bunch of the, I guess they're technically, I don't think they're technically called bamboo pieces, but um, the bamboo looking things um, up there just to kind of fill that in and um, I think that looks pretty good um, I'm pretty happy with where that is I wrap this down around um, added a little bit more down here just kind of finish this out again I think having um, one of the maybe four by three pieces kind of here just to kind of like finish the like ivy or kudzu type look um, out um, I'm debating about whether I need to add some more of the little uh, orange yellow flowers over here um so i'm kind of still looking at that and then i'm think i'm gonna add a couple more trees a couple more of these tall pine trees kind of back there just kind of finish out the look of the kind of pine trees going across so i'm gonna get some pine trees built um and think some more about these flowers and then we'll take a look at this and then i'll turn on the lights to see what it looks like with the lights on too all right so i got some figs put in here i got the rest of this i put some more pine trees in here 
Um, little Frankenstein action back there. Um, I think this looks pretty good. I am pretty happy with this. Like I said, I think I will eventually swap some of these out for some of the smaller pieces whenever I get them in. Um, but uh, I think this looks pretty good. Let's take a look and see what it looks like with the lights on. Um, so there's the lights on. I guess I need to turn off the other lights. Um, but uh, I'm thinking I like this, but I think you'll see in a minute. Um, so the biggest issue that I kind of have and it's not so bad on camera, actually. Um, crazy how much glare those uh, lights give off. But it's a little dark in this area. Um, again, it doesn't look like that at all on camera. It actually looks great on camera. Um, but in real life, it's not quite so vivid um, in the uh, kind of darker areas. And so I might need to eventually assess maybe adding some lights, maybe like underneath, maybe one underneath here, maybe. Um, and then maybe just something over in this area, um, which will not be hard to do at all, actually. Um, but just something to kind of think about and maybe over here as well. Um, cause again, in, in, in real life, it's not quite so, um, it's not quite so bright as it is on camera. Um, but I also don't want it to be like this bright either. Right? Like, so, um, I don't know. I gotta think about that, but as far as uh, bricks and things go, um, I think this is pretty good. Gosh, that's crazy with those those lights off the camera lens. Um, but yeah, so uh, I think this is it for this area. I'm going to call this done for right now. Um, eventually, I'll look at what Brick Cross looks like on the side here and work my way over to it. Because um, obviously this gray, most of this gray is where Brick Cross will go. And I think on this side, there is a little cafe, maybe some chance for a garden or something over here. Um, so definitely be looking at that real soon. Um, but yeah, make sure you like, and so like, and subscribe to stay tuned for some more because there's a lot more to do in the city. Thanks y'all.